everybody, Brody here from Optic LED Michigan. Gonna take a second today to run you guys through the user interface of the master controller. We've been having lots of questions lately about getting the master controller set up and uh, getting it set up so you can start growing. So uh, let's take a deep dive here into the user interface. So first thing you're gonna notice when you power on your device is you're gonna come to the home screen where you're gonna see all your channel dimmers, your channel one, your channel two, and your channel three. As well in the top right corner, you're gonna see your zone one and zone two. In the middle is gonna be your timer mode for automatic sunrise, sunset. And then you're gonna have your power off, which is gonna control all your dimmers at once. So if you wanna just turn your lights off, you can just hit the power on or power off. And then at the bottom right hand corner, you're gonna see your system settings. So let's start off with the home page. First thing you're gonna notice is the three dimmers. It's standard, uh, our lights don't go over three dimmers, so our Slim 650S and our Optic 8 all have three dimmers. Uh, so you can control each dimmer individually, zero to 100 with the touch screen. So both channel one, channel two, and channel three, you'll have full control over 0% to 100% just by moving on the touch screen. Now our other lights like the Slim 500S, 600S, uh, Optic 6, uh, the Optic 4, Optic 2, you're only gonna have control of the first two dimmers. Those are what is gonna control your light is dimmer one and dimmer two. So now let's jump into our system settings real quick and take a look. So first thing when you go into your system settings, what you're gonna notice is you're gonna have a channel one, a channel two, a channel three, and they're all gonna be highlighted. If you only have a light that has two dimmers, like the 500S, 600S, uh, Optic 4, Optic 6, things like that, you can get rid of channel three by just clicking it and it will become unhighlighted. Then you can go back to your home screen and you will see only just two dimmers there to control your light. So let's go back to system settings, turn on channel three. Now, another cool feature that I like to take advantage of when I'm setting up my controller is changing the names of channel one, channel two, and channel three so that you know exactly what dimmer you're controlling. So like the Slim 650S, channel one is going to be your white channel, okay? And so I changed that to WH, abbreviation for white, channel two, let's just say it's going to be our red one, RD, and then channel three, let's say, is our blue channel. So now we change the name to all three channels, channel one, channel two, and channel three. We can go back to the system set, back to the home page, and you can see on the left-hand side, those dimmers have been renamed, white, red, and blue. So when we go into timer mode, you will see our channels white, white red, and blue here. And then over on the side, you will see that they're also labeled white, red, and blue with the intensities below. Now that we're in timer mode, you're gonna see things are gonna be a little bit different. Right here, you're going to see your map, so your time map. Uh, right now, we just have it coming on at seven o'clock, 100%, and then at, uh, would be 11 o'clock, would be at 0%, so turning off. You have a couple of different options. You have up top, your whites, your reds, your blues highlighted. And then in the bottom left hand corner, you're gonna have a preview. So you can do a preview mode where it's just gonna run through your time map and kind of give you a short demo of what that light cycle looks like and how they're gonna gradually move up. So let me just kind of plug one in here real quick so that you guys can see the mapping of the sunrise sunset. There, so I have a rough example sunrise sunset programmed in here. Obviously it's gonna be different for your your grow, this is just an example and a demonstration. You can see over here on the right hand side, you're gonna see all our time intervals with our percentages, and as well on our map, you're gonna see the slowly incline of our light intensity until it reaches its peak intensity, and then a slow decline. That is your automatic sunrise sunset. So when you go in and you hit, and just leave this in the timer mode and leave your lights on, it will work and progress its way through until you know, it turns off and that would be your light schedule. If you wanna test it out and kinda of see what your dimmers are doing, you can always go to that preview setting and it's slowly gonna run through that time map schedule.
So just as an example, because I already have this one programmed and hooked up to our display lights here in the showroom, I'm gonna hit preview and you are gonna see the time map there. And then all these lights are gonna run off that time map except for the optic. The optics are hooked up to a different zone. This is just a preview. So you can see that they're all gonna run. They're gonna work up the intensity and work back down. And that's it. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that helped answer some of your questions and uh, let us know if you have any more. And uh, check out opticledgrowlights.com. Big Black Friday sale going on right now, so make sure you guys go check that out. Have a great week, guys. Peace.